We start by evaluating the numerator of the given limit. When x tends to 0, cos x tends to 1, which implies that sine of pi times cos square x tends to sine pi, which is equal to 0. Similarly, when x tends to 0, the denominator x square also tends to 0. Therefore, this is indeterminate of the form 0 upon 0. Using Le Hospital's rule, the value of the given limit is therefore equal to limit x tending to 0, the derivative of the numerator, which is d upon dx of sine of pi times cos square x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which is d upon dx of x square. This is equal to the limit as x tends to 0, cos of pi times cos square x, times the derivative of pi times cos square x, which is equal to pi times 2 cos x times minus sin x, divided by the derivative of x square, which is equal to 2x. This can be written as minus pi times the limit as x tends to 0, cos of pi times cos square x, times cos x, times sin x upon x. Now when x tends to 0, cos x tends to 1, or cos square x tends to 1, and therefore cos of pi times cos square x tends to cos pi, which is equal to minus 1. Also, when x tends to 0, cos x tends to 1, and sin x upon x also tends to 1. Therefore, the value of the given limit is equal to minus pi times minus 1 times 1 times 1, which is equal to pi, which is the required answer.